In this video, I'm gonna to try to reproduce some of my most iconic photos here in Los Angeles, California. Years ago, I did an amazing Los Angeles coffee table book, which is completely sold out. And in this video, I'm gonna try to reproduce some of my most iconic photos. I'm gonna show you precise examples of cityscape, landscape, even portrait. And I'll show you what is the best setup for travel here in Los Angeles, California. Make sure you stay until then, because this trip is about to get crazy. The weather looks absolutely awful, and if it rains, I'm toasted. I don't know if I can get any photos. We're gonna meet people, we're gonna meet an actress. It's gonna be amazing, make sure you stay until the end. My name is Serge Remeli, and my work is in 120 galleries around the world, like this gallery here. In this series, I'm gonna bring you around the world to recreate some of my best work. So, we are here in the Griffiths Park, one of my favorite parks in Los Angeles. A beautiful park, almost the size of Paris, in front of downtown Los Angeles. This is the Hollywood sign. Let's do it. Allons-y, mesdames et messieurs. C'est parti pour Kiki. Okay, so we're here at the Griffiths Park. It's one of my favorite parks in Los Angeles. I used to live very close to here. We're gonna hike. We are all the way down at the Griffiths Park. We're gonna hike all the way up to the observatory and come back where the Terminator arrives, see if we can get some good photos. I'm not sure it's gonna work because the light is okay, but you know, I don't like the light. But let's see, come and let me show you one of the nicest park and one of the nicest hike in all of Los Angeles. So what I like about this shot is that you have two things. You have a frame in a frame and a leading line towards the observatory, you got great clouds. It's, it's, it's not great in color, but I think it's gonna do really well in black and white. And I'm doing like a long pano. And one thing when you want to do good black and white, try to get shadows uh, in, your, in your foreground, not light, because the eyes goes to the lightest part. So what we want is we want to have shadows at first. And that's what I'm, uh, I'm doing, I'm framing with the shadow. And it, it's gonna make a really beautiful black and white. I shot it with both, we'll see which one is sharper. I believe the Leica is always sharper because it's a fixed lens and this one is a, is a zoom. But this is a 2472.8 G Master 2. I mean, it's supposed to be like the best zoom lens ever. It is very steep to go up on the Griffiths Park. What I love about the Griffiths Park is that you will see when we get up there, we have a whole view on downtown and it's very, the foreground is beautiful because it's a beautiful park. We still have a lot of autumn color, although we are in December. I'm gonna shoot maybe more close in with the 2470, a little more white with the Q3. I think I'm gonna do black and white. It's funny, I love the colors of the Leica right off the bat. I, I feel like I can touch downtown and, and I'm always looking for cool for when I'm in, so maybe this is gonna work. You know, I'm thinking, but look how moody it is. If you're underexposed, it's gonna give really great moody photos. Look how dramatic the sky is when you're underexposed. I love the fact that it's one man, one bench, one thing in all of downtown Los Angeles. We arrived. I'm super tired. It was so how much walking. We here. I don't like to shoot the Hollywood sign from the observatory because it's the shot that everybody gets. And also the letters are a little bit crooked. You're shooting on the side. And um, it's just not great. What's great is to go and hike, which is a four hours hike, which we're gonna do tonight behind the letters. And that's the shot. <laughs> Le ciel, il est dingue en fait, il est hyper dingue. C'est un ciel de noir et blanc de ouf. I love having the observatory as a foreground element and all of downtown as a background. I think that's going to work really well. Go! 
guys, for a limited only, for $1.99 instead of $97, you can get my three books. Took me over 10 years to write them. The first one is Photography Essential. It's all about how to get a great photo, what time to shoot, how to compose, lots into composition. I show you over 10 years of work on how every photo was shot, what gear was used, and how it was retouched. And then you get my Lightroom and Photoshop book using the natural drama formula. I wrote this with the idea of a 10, 12 years old reading this. The easiest book you ever read on Lightroom and Photoshop. Plus you're gonna get all my presets, which I will show you a demonstration at the very end of this video. So now we're gonna go into one of the most iconic hotels of Los Angeles, the Roosevelt Hotel. It just has this sort of 50, 60 vibe that I love. You know, these are a place where like people like James Stewart and Clark Gable and Carol Lombard used to stay. It's just an incredible iconic hotel right on Hollywood Boulevard. And I love to shoot it at night. That's such a vintage feeling. It's absolutely breathtaking. When I do street photography at night, I rather shoot with the Leica because I can be at 1.7, 800 ISO, 30 second uh, speed, 130, 30s, and I put a two self timer on and I get really crisp photo. This rain has been driving me crazy, but the good thing is when I shot Hollywood Boulevard, when it rains, you get the side road very dark, which I really like for the reflection. It just gives a great mood for night photography. <music> What you see here is the Walt Disney Concert Hall. This was a hall that was built based on a donation by Lillian Disney. She was Walt Disney's wife who donated $50 million to help uh, the legacy of her husband for the arts. And they built this beautiful, beautiful theater. You have a lot of uh, orchestra playing here, like John Williams and many, many performers. She gave the donation, I think, in 87. It was finished in 2004 and it's a beautiful building. The architect was Frank Owen uh, Gary, very famous architect who's done buildings all over the world. Incredible, including very recently, the Louis Vuitton Foundation in Boulogne, which I actually took some photos of. I just love the way it is. It's so, it's so painful that it's raining so much today. I'm gonna be shooting with an actress because I like to have a, somebody in the shot and I'm gonna to try to give justice to this beauty uh, that was created by the Disney family. I have a lot of respect for Walt Disney and for what he has done for this planet. He brought so much joy to so many people. Um, well, it didn't expect to run. It was supposed to be Los Angeles. What I do like is that there is nobody there. We can do something with the umbrella which can kind of call. Let's just start was just having you there. Okay. And so I, you're gonna be very small in the building. Let me see. So I have an idea. Because one thing I do love about the rain is it makes really great black and white and we can have like nice reflections and we can play with what we have basically. You're gonna be small on that one, but it just gives perspective. All right, let me make sure it's it's sharp. Okay, cool. Oh, why don't you go under the wall this thing? I love the leading line there. So annoying with the rain. I want to go around and we'll go on the first floor and take some more shots. I hope you'll like them. Have you been up there already? Have you seen how it is behind? I, not for a long time. Okay. Yeah. The good thing is that we shouldn't get the rain. It's here, so I want to play with that where you like do stuff like that. Because okay. I get your reflection on the wall. Yeah, so we have a different perspective, yellow. Okay, give me five different body 
position. Change of camera, Leica now. Perfect, I just don't like the run, it's too bright. So maybe this come here, because I need a bit of darkness. See, the light goes to whatever is bright on the photo. So having that, just the eyes goes right there. So I want to try that, it's a little better. Uh, oh, okay, no. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, that's kind of cool with the light behind you. That's kind of cool. That shot is, I love the background on her. I love how the light comes from the top. So if I go very low, I can get her reflection and I can get a beautiful light that draws the person into the photo. So like this should be interesting. Yeah, that's perfect. That's the shot I want to get. Yes. Okay, give me five. One, two, three, four. Love it. You're a pro. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Incredible. With the umbrella. So right behind me is the City Hall of Los Angeles. 32th floor, finished to build in the 1930s. Beautiful building that you see in many movies like uh, Dragnet or uh, Belleville Hills Cop. And uh, voila, right behind us next to the Walt Disney Castle Hall. Viva Los Angeles. So we stopped here at the Santa Monica Mountains because it was very gloomy. There's amazing clouds on the mountains. We're gonna to try to get a shot, let's go. So we're gonna go all the way up on the hill and there's a view I'm hoping that's gonna be very nice. What you can, last time I came here, this was very green, this was very green, and this was very snaky, beautiful, and you had the mountains. I was hoping to get some clouds here, but there's no clouds whatsoever. It's actually a bit better there, so I'm gonna walk there and see if I can get it from there. I don't think it's gonna work out at all because the, the clouds are not really grabbing the mountains, which is the look I was looking for. So I took the shot, but I think it's a complete failure. We'll check it out in Lightroom. I'm very disappointed. So this is kind of what I was looking for, a little bit of, but you see there's not much, it's just a little bit on that. I kind of like the path there, but it's not great. I was so disappointed coming to the Santa Monica Mountains because the foreground was very yellow and very dirty and very wet and it was the whole way. I remember coming here in January, February, it was all lush and green and I got this really cool lady line and beautiful sunset. I'm very disappointed. I mean, this rain has really been hard on me. I don't know if I'm gonna come out with good photos or not. It's really bad. All right, I promised I would show you how I retouch some of these photos. So first thing first, you need to download the preset. The link is under the video. And then you go to file import develop profile and preset and you will see I've got some AI portrait preset, black and white preset and natural color preset. You select all three and you click on import. Once you've done this, they will all be here. So let me show you how this works. This is a photo I shot at the Griffiths Park. I'm going to make it a black and white. So I'm just going to go to the black and white section and boom, boost the whites. I would spend more time on it, but look at this. Look at the result. There is like all the dodge and burn is done for you. It's crazy. Look at this. Before, after. This is the blue hour shot from the Roosevelt shot with the Leica. On this one, I'm going to apply the blue hour preset. And the colors are not going to match at first. Uh, you just need to adjust the white balance because it was very, very warm. Maybe add a bit of magenta, but you're basically done. Over 27 different sliders. You just have to adapt the white balance and sometimes just check your black and white point. Let me show you before. 
after. This one, uh, let's cheat a little bit and let's do golden hour preset because we had a bit of, look at this, boom, one click. And then let's try this one here. Um, I can use a daylight preset on this one or I can uh, you go golden hour or I can do sunset to make it great. I think golden hour also will work. Or let's even try Herburn. No, Herburn is gonna be too much. But anyway, you gotta try this preset on your raw file. Now, watch for part two because part one was really rough. We had a lot of rain. I'm hoping that part two is gonna be amazing. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on part two and get the preset and the books. The link is under the video. It's a crazy deal.